Observes the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to just thank the distinguished gentleman from Massachusetts, uh, the chairman of the Rules Committee, for yielding me the customary 30 minutes. And I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to say that when I joined the Rules Committee, uh, Chairman McGovern was incredibly welcoming. Uh, it been totally above board. It's been a pleasure to uh, to work with you, Mr. McGovern, and it's, it's just a pleasure that we get to debate the last role here for the 117th Congress. So it's an honor, and I would thank the gentleman from Massachusetts. And I uh, look forward to continuing to work with him on the Rules Committee. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, the role before us today provides for consideration of a 4,000-page omnibus package that puts America last. This bill was crafted behind closed doors. It was released in the middle of the night and it received absolutely no input from House Republicans. So instead of responsibly governing, House Democrats are trying to ram through trillions of dollars in new spending in the final days of this lame duck session. No Congress in recent history, no Congress in recent history has passed an omnibus appropriations bill during a lame duck session following a shift of power in the House. To do so this year would violate, would be a violation of congressional precedent and a flagrant disregard for the American people who voted in new leadership in the House. This omnibus package will not unleash American energy. It won't rein in out of control inflation, which is caused by reckless spending. And here we are just three days away from Christmas and more than one quarter of Americans are expected to go into debt over Christmas costs and about half of are saying that they're going to cut back on holiday shopping altogether. Sadly, this comes as the majority of Americans have already reported an increase in personal debt this year as inflation outpaces their income. So instead of working on providing Americans with relief, this legislation is a last ditch effort by Democrats to force their far left radical agenda on the American people before the clock runs out on the one party rule that we've come to know in Washington. Further, despite the ongoing border crisis and Democrats' eagerness to let Title 42 expire, this package effectively reduces funding for border enforcement and fails to include tougher policies that would actually address the issue at the border. Specifically, this bill increases non-defense spending by $57 billion, yet there was no increase in funding for ICE enforcement and removal operations, and there's no increase for Border Patrol agent hiring, which is already grossly underfunded. Yet in this bill, the TSA received a drastic increase to give uh, TSA officers a raise. So the men and women at the southern border that are stopping fentanyl from coming across the border, stopping terrorists, catching, apprehending terrorists at the southern border, they're underfunded, yet the person that's wanding down your grandmother at the airport and taking your toothpaste, they get the raise. That's how backward this omnibus is. Almost 5 million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the southern border since Joe Biden took office. That's not including the 1 million gotaways that have not been apprehended at all. That's a million people that are in this country that we don't, even, that we don't have no control over. We don't know where they are and crossed illegally. Illegal immigrants who entered this country under uh, Biden's border crisis will now cost the taxpayers over $20 billion a year on top of the trillions in spending Democrats are trying to pass just today. So I urge my colleagues to oppose this rule and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves, the gentleman from